I've been a Man City fan my whole life. Uh, and we started by, I used to live in Leeds, so it was, a, it was a, a decent track over to Manchester every Saturday morning where I'd play uh, just in the community for, for a local side. And then we'd go on to watch it in the afternoon, so that was good. And then the local side started to get a bit bigger and the first real tournament we had, um, I was actually scouted by a few teams, including the City and Everton. And it was actually quite close. I was going to go to Everton that time, but then the goalie coach moved and we went to City. And I was at Man City for four, four years, I think. And then I moved to Everton when I was 12 and I've been there for four more. Well, we've, we've, we've obviously seen the examples of quite a few players moving out to Germany. Sancho was the first one that did it and it, went very, it was very successful for him. And um, I think that, that came into my mind and it was something that had always been in my mind for the last couple of years. Uh, and then it sort of became more real when we started, when it started to become a possibility. Obviously, Germany for me is the best place for, for goalkeepers to go. You've got the main examples of Manuel Moy, who came from Schalke as well, which is a big draw for him to come to Schalke. Um, you've got to Stegen, who's they're both one of the two best goalkeepers in the world. Uh, and then as it started to get closer, it seemed that Schalke had a bit of interest, and that was really good because Schalke had been a team that had always, always almost dreamt of playing for with, with Neuer, who's my favourite goalkeeper, having come through. And obviously now they've got Nubel, who's, who's just moved on to Bayern Munich. So they seem to, to produce a lot of the goalkeepers and that was one of the main draws for me. I think that, because I was always quite tall for my age, uh, I went in goal quite early on. And then, yeah, the very the very first games I played, um, luckily enough, I was scouted. So then I've always sticked in goal after that. I always liked Joe Hart when in the city. He was one of my, my idols growing up. And um, I think that when I started to go in goal, I enjoyed it as well. Obviously, I was big, so that helped. And I think then when I found out I wasn't too bad in goal, I just started to stick with it and uh, make the best of it. The goalie coach said that he'd have to send off a couple of the videos. And I went over for a game, I think, against the year above uh, in the FAI headquarters. And that was really good. And then I've been told I've been picked for the next camp. And the first game I played was against Cyprus. And uh, it was in Dundalk. And we won 2 0. And we kept a clean sheet. And it was pretty much the perfect debut. So, yeah, that was one of, that was one of the best nights I've had to prefer. Obviously, a little bit nervous when I was younger. But it was, I was really, really happy to be able to represent, to represent Ireland. And then play, playing with the shirt on, walking out with the national anthem. And then getting the win as well on that first game was just perfect. Being a City fan as well, I'd, I watched Shea Given quite a lot when I was younger, so he was one of the Irish goalkeepers I knew a lot. Um, so, yeah, it was just such an honour to be able to wear the shirt and, yeah, and hopefully I can keep progressing through the ranks and hopefully get to where they've been at one day. Uh, Randall's a very good goalkeeper, the number one now. Um, we've got a good few goalkeepers coming through the ranks as well. Uh, so I think that goalkeeping does seem to be a strong point for Ireland. And that's what, exactly where I want to be as well. So. I think the debut was, was, a, was a great day. I really, really enjoyed that one. Uh, we played Russia at the start of the under-17 season. That was a good game. We won 2-0 again. Um, and that was that was really good. It was a tough game, which we won. We went, we went away to Spain to play Germany. Uh, that was one of the toughest games I've played in, but playing against such a good side there, it felt amazing. And I think the opportunities that I've had there, we've been to Israel, been to Spain a few times. I've played in the Euro qualifiers this year. I think it's just it's given me so many experiences and um, it's a great team as well. So um, I, I really enjoyed it with uh, Colin this year. Uh, I think the goalie coaches that I've had as well with class Richie in the under 15 such a great guy, um, and Dermot as well, um, who's 60s and I think he's a 19s coach as well. He's a top coach. I get on with him really well. And the same with Josh, the keeper coach of 17s, he's a top guy again, a really good coach. All three of them, because the international game is quite different to what I faced when I was at Everton. It's a more physical game, it's a faster game, so they helped me be able to adapt into that situation. Um, and that really helped me in different ways of playing the, what was required for me there. And yeah, I think they really helped me adapt into the, into the style of football that we face um, playing for Ireland. I want to go all the way to the first team. Um, uh, I think as, as soon as possible. Uh, next, I want to 
I want to play in more of the big tournaments. Obviously, it was quite um, disappointing that the uh, Euros got called off because we were made it through to the elite stage. So it would have been nice to play in them. But I think I want to play in more of those big competitions, face the the other top quality across Europe and the highest stage, and obviously try and win as many games and as many things as I can for Ireland.